Well, I'm pulling out here at the Motel 6, and you see in the pip, the room, uh, you know, it's Motel 6. It was what I expected. It wasn't, ex it, well, but the problem in this was the same one when I was here last January, a year ago, was that if you look at the, at the controls, all the lights are out, or broken out, and, you know, are you on, are you on heat, are you on AC, or are you on just fan? It's like, it's a really terrible job here. But you see the rest of the room, it's acceptable. The ice of machine, though, and I bitched about that, I'll bitch about that four or five more times, didn't work. And, um, there, and the Wi-Fi was down, which I have uh, my own anyway, but it just wasn't a very good job. It was not as it, in the, you know, it, it should have been better, but, you know, it's Motel 6 and okay. So now I'm going to cut it. I went to in and out last night. You could see it right there on the left. I went last night, and I'm going to cut that in here, and I'll talk about that next. Hey, guys and gals. Though I'm filming this Sunday night, this is going to go on Monday's film. I'm in Salinas, California, which is the seat of Monterey... Monterey County, and I'm at in and out number 99 because I'm staying at Motel 6, which I'll review, and I don't have any ice in the ice machine, and I'm thirsty, and I wanted a, a cold drink, and there's nowhere out here to buy ice or anything, so I uh, thought, hell, I'll just pop on down to in and out get a little something to eat and have something to drink. Now, I'm drinking the, uh, pink, the light pink lemonade for the first time, and it's actually pretty good, but that's not necessarily why we're 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 filming here. No, we always do certainly. I want to point out this. Look how dirty my table is. Look at the table over here, dirty. Look at the table here. If you can see it, dirty. Look at the floor. Look at the floor, dirty. I mean, not mopped, trash on the floor. This is so unlike in and out, I'm really surprised. Um, oh, here's my, uh, here's my lemonade. So, I, uh, I've never been in an in and out that was this dirty when I came in. So. I don't know if I'm going to mention it at management or quite what I'm going to do. I may do nothing but just film and talk about it. But anyway, uh, I ordered and I'm going to eat and I'm going to watch a little YouTube and you'll see my food when it gets here. But I'm really surprised. It's this dirty. I forgot to order my fries uh, um, light well, and so I gotta, I gotta be on top of that. But the three by three is good. I got me a Neapolitan shake, and I do like the uh, the light pink lemonade. So when I want something without caffeine or sh added sugar, I think this is our go-to. Though I read on, on online on one of the Facebook groups that it's not. Some of the people really don't like it, but I do. So here you go. This gal here, I walked up and asked very quietly if she was outdoors. And when she said she was, I, uh, I gave her a 20 and you know, asked her to, you know, take care of her pup. And I don't give to any of the street people, but I thought, you know, I'm a sucker for puppers. And I do it really to, uh, to my, uh, for myself to honor my boy Chico, who I love and miss. And Anyway, sometimes you do a good deed, and well, here's mine for the month. Now, when I was here last Janu uh, a year ago, January, these were still here, the little uh, uh, ballards, the, uh, uh, port or the plastic ballards, uh, or ballards. Uh, you can see... Uh, <laughs> You can see it looks like somebody uh, got rid of a couple of them so you can ma uh, make the left turn. I made the comment about this. Uh, let me see where I am here. I'm, I'm at Motel 6. No ice at the Motel 6. I'm going to talk about this in the morning when I do the room review. But uh, <laughs> I'm not happy about that. So 
Anyway, I drank a bunch of uh, pink lemonades. I brought one to go. It'll be okay. You know, any excuse to eat it in and out, but those uh, a baller or ball a ballards. Uh, <laughs> I guess somebody. You know, it doesn't make any sense because I'm on Kern in Salinas, and it's a dead end road. So why are you blocking the left turn when there's <laughs> Very little, if any, oncoming traffic except out of the hotels down the street because, my God, there, there, there's nobody. Come on now. There's going to be a reason for it. So, anyway, we're back at the 6. I'm going to lie down. Um, and uh, I'll melt this into uh, to, uh, tomorrow's, uh, to Monday's, uh, well, it's Monday morning now, but I'll, I'll blend this into Monday's... Uh, a film and you'll see it then hey guys and gals it is the 11th of March of 2024 and I'm in front of this uh, in front of this Contra Costa County Sheriff's unit but come on dude I met Black Bear Diner in Salinas California in Monterey County so I left yesterday from the hideout, and you may be asking, dude, you didn't uh, make a single uh, movie stop yesterday? And the answer is no. And I'll explain it when I, I, I get inside the restaurant. I'm hungry. I need some coffee. I'm thirsty. I'm a mess this morning, but getting there. So we're going to go inside, and I'll fill you in on all the details. You know, I'm just now realizing I forgot the portable mic again. I really need to do a better job of this. You're probably asking yourself, dude, you didn't run any film yesterday, and I didn't. Uh, I, uh, I'm meeting my brother today in Santa Cruz. So I thought, well, instead of the long drive to Santa Cruz, well, long, long relatively, I'd go ahead and kind of make it two days, run some film, yada, yada. Well, there was a problem with our care team yesterday, and... I wanted to make sure my wife was was addressed. So I didn't leave till almost four. I thought about just not going, but I went ahead and I persevered. I got to Sananella where I ate at um, uh, Panda, and I, uh, I really it's about five thirty, and I I thought well I could cancel the Salinas Motel Six up to six. And then I can stay right in uh, Santa Nella at the six that I stayed at last month, or uh, in December. I'm sorry. And I thought, no, that's just a press on. Well, I I got back in the car after eating and I put my head down for 90 minutes, and that seemed to be enough. I got to Salinas about nine. Um, I rested. No ice in the ice machine. Not happy about that, so I ended up about a little, almost midnight. I popped down to In and Out. So I got up this morning. I put my GPS in that in the locomotive. It's incredibly embarrassing. I spent 20 minutes driving around Salinas through residential neighborhoods looking for the motel. It's right off the damn freeway, but there's no southbound ramp right there that I could figure out. So anyway. I get to in and out and I eat and I, I load up on the light pink lemonade, which is really good. I'm really happy with that. Not everyone is, according to the uh, the guy, the a group that I follow on Facebook. I think it's in and out burger in, in, in enthusiasts. Anyway, I get up this morning. I I put Black Bear in the GPS, and it takes me to the one on Laurel that is no longer Black Bear. So I redid it. I'm at the new Black Bear, though it's I've been here four years. So you see how long it's been since I've eaten a Black Bear in Salinas. And, and I'm at it now, and I have made my order. And I'm going to drink my coffee and, and, and uh, probably put uh, uh, my YouTube on. And I'm going to have a nice breakfast. I talked to my brother as I was uh, pulling in the lot, and he's leaving uh, uh, La Jolla. And he's, uh, he's, uh, he's going to stop and see a friend of his in San Luis Obispo County, and then he'll be up in Santa Cruz about 4 or 5 o'clock, and we're going to spend two days together. I've got the plans, so 
what am I doing the rest of the day? Oh, hold on, food's here. Ham and cheese omelet, hash browns, side of gravy, English muffin, coffee, water, meds. We're good to go. Well, I'm done at Walmart. I mean, at uh, 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 Black Bear. And we're going to pan over to... I forgot a couple of things, so... Hell, I didn't realize that Walmart's right here, so... Uh, I went in and took care of it. Now, I tend to park not near Pete, not near anybody. So, for some reason, this guy's got to park right fucking next to me. Come on, dude, really? There's 15,000 parking spots, and I'm nowhere near anything. Now, I'm pulling in here for gas, and when I went in and went to the bathroom and brought my cup, and they charged me $4.79 for a 100-ounce cup refill of Diet Mountain Dew. And this is where not having the ice machine at the motel hurts, because I'd have filled up my cup with ice. And I've got waters in the car and I'd have used, or in the locomotive, and I'd have just used that like I did yesterday. And today I'm editing on Wednesday. So now we're going to see a little clip of On 101 South, and I'm looking for uh, California 68, and it should be Main Street, and it's not marked. It's not marked anything. So hold on here. Now, as we get off here, you'll see Monterey Peninsula, but it should be California 68. It's just so incredibly badly marked. Caltrans, what is wrong with you fucking idiots? How, how do you not do this better? Only now on the bypass are we seeing the California 68 sign and the arrows. This is Main Street, like I talked about two shots ago. So, you know, this is just not done very well, and shame on Caltrans. On uh, Westbound 68, this is the off-ramp for Spreckles Boulevard in the town of Spreckles. It used to be a company town uh, from the Spreckles Sugar uh, uh, Company. They had a refinery out here, and then we're crossing the Salinas River to River Road, and I had family that lived on River Road south of here. Uh, my grandfather's uh, sister uh, and her husband, her first cousin, yeah, it just it didn't happen in Alabama, uh, came out here from Pennsylvania and settled in, in the 30s and bought their house, or built their house. Now, there's more to it, but I'll talk about that when I end up out here another day. So we're on 68 West, and we'll see what's next. Our first stop of the day after uh, gas and breakfast in Walmart finds us on Monterey County G20. I've never been on this road. My God, it's beautiful. It runs from California 68 to, to Carmel Valley Road. Um, I have a destination today. I want to go to Bixby Creek Bridge and hopefully we'll get there but look at this this is beautiful this is also a pretty steep descent and they certainly warn you about it so my god it's gorgeous just just gorgeous so it's a beautiful day uh so we're getting there i wanted to get out and uh, run some film here's your minute
and we'll we'll press on and see what's next.